Morning everybody, how are you? It is actually feeling rather spring-like out there today, isn't it? It's rather nice. Um, let me just make sure that I can see comments. Oh, lovely. Morning, Linda. How are you? Oh, it's sunny down in London. Very nice. I know it was a little bit sunny this morning. It's got a little bit overcast now, but it's still really nice. We are officially in spring now, aren't we? We went for um, a really long walk on Sunday in Stratford, Charlie and I, and uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was so lovely out there. We had to start peeling all of our layers off because we were actually getting quite warm. Um, not all of them, no, just the top ones, and that was fair okay. That... <laughs> yeah, there's no streaking down the greenway in Stratford, so that's fine. <laughs> oh dear, oh morning. Oh hi Emma, you missed us last, so you've set an alarm for today. Perfect, thank you, that's really good. Morning Nicole, hello. Oh, it's grey in Manchester. Hopefully it will brighten up a little bit, although I know that rain is heading our way, but we have to kind of take the good with the bad, don't we? And a little bit of rain is going to be good for all the lovely flowers that are coming out. Um, well, morning, Alison. How are you? Uh, morning, Diane. Heather, hello. Christine, hello. How are you? Oh, fantastic. We've got lots of people joining us this morning. That's brilliant. Um, so today, kind of a little bit kind of feeding off of what Charlie and I were experiencing at the weekend in terms of uh, the warmer, the weather is starting to get a little bit warmer. Layering is really important now, isn't it? Because you never quite know how cold it is out there and how warm you're going to get whilst you're walking and stuff like that. So this is why we're kind of focusing on the kind of layered thing today. So, and I'm really focusing on mainly our lovely knit fabrics um, because you can have loads of different t-shirts and I do feel at the moment actually walking in jeans wasn't that comfortable and I live in jeans so I'm thinking that I actually need more leggings in my life at the moment um, so that's why I'm focusing more today on leisure wear shall we say in fact I could probably live in leisure wear at the moment I don't know about you um, we've been in lockdown now for a year haven't we today and uh our wardrobes have become increasingly casual. So that's kind of what we're focusing on today. Um, let's just have a quick look. Oh, we've got lots of people. Morning, everybody. Um, oh, morning, Rosemary. Oh, the blue leopard print viscose that you bought last week is absolutely lovely. I'm so pleased. That's really good. It was a lovely, lovely fabric, wasn't it? We have got, we have got a little bit left, but not a lot, I have to say. Um, oh, Claire, you're making 250 face masks. Wow, you're going to be busy today, aren't you? That's fantastic. Gosh. Uh, oh, morning, Joe. No sunshine in Hampshire, but it's trying. Well, what do they say? If you've got enough blue sky to make a pair of sailor's trousers, which is what my grandma used to say. I love that saying. I think it's quite cool. It does make me laugh. Uh, let's have a look and see. Who else we've got? Oh. Has become <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I know where you're coming from. And the trouble is... We've got Easter coming up as well, haven't we? All those lovely cakes and chocolates and Easter eggs, it's gonna be fatal. I think I'm gonna to have to ration myself. Although I did say to Charlie the other day, actually what I'd quite like instead of an Easter egg is a nice smelly candle, preferably from the white company. Mm, is I taking note, no, I know, yeah. <laughs> that way, because you can't eat one of those, can you? They're not gonna make you fat, are they? So I think that's probably a good idea. Um, Oh, lovely. Hi, everyone. Just got here with your coffee, says Lynn. Sorry, I'm trying to read and talk at the same time. It just doesn't work, really. I can't multitask. Oh, no. What is it called? Multi-flipping or something, isn't it? No, task flipping. You were talking about it the other day. Yeah, we can't actually multitask. Apparently, that comes from computer programs being able to work on different things at the same time. People can't multitask. We have to task flip. So we concentrate on one thing and then flip over to another which is, I feel like I do that most of the day, to be honest. Um, oh, Rob's, uh, oh, your Molly sews on Insta. Ah, hello. Just nice to see it, because people have, yeah, people's Instagram name, handles and stuff don't necessarily correspond, do they? But that's good. Morning, Rotha, how are you? Uh, oh, Lynn says she's almost finished the Perdita. Just the buttons and the buttonholes. That's fantastic. Oh, I think you're going to really enjoy that today. We may have some fabrics that you might want to layer with your Perdita, actually. Um, 
Oh, Janet says, huge thanks to you, Jules and Charlie, from the rest of the team for keeping us encouraged for the whole year. It's been wonderful. I'm much poorer, though. <laughs> yes, but think of all the gorgeous clothes that you will have made and you'll have a fantastic wardrobe. I often think, actually, and this is my kind of way of looking at things in terms of, you know, spending a little bit more on something that you know you're going to really like is actually looking at things cost per wear. So if you're spending, I don't know, £100 on a pair of boots or something, but you wear them almost every day for like four months, then it's kind of worth it, isn't it? And if you know they're going to be comfortable and it's what you want and you enjoy them, then it's kind of worth it, isn't it? So that's good. Oh, brilliant. Um, Sharon's popped up the free PMP code today. So that's fab. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I hope your ankle's on the mend. Um, right. So fabrics. I wanted to show you this one first because I love it. I absolutely love it. We're working on new patterns at the moment and this is going to be amazing for the next pattern that we've got coming out in May actually um, and I just love this. Look at this. Is this just not the most beautiful fabric ever? I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a viscose rayon so completely against everything that I've been talking about up till now about knit fabrics and stretch and comfort and stuff like that. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. It really is. I love it. I think the design of this is absolutely beautiful. It's got that my favourite colour in there, which is lovely mustard yellow. But this beautiful red is just gorgeous. And then it's got a fantastic petrol blue and turquoise in there. I think it's just gorgeous. I really do. Oh, we've got comments coming in lovely Sharon's popping up all the links morning Bridget hello uh oh you're on leave so you can join us live that's fantastic oh the gray check linen that arrived is absolutely gorgeous fantastic that's brilliant uh Julia says my friend calls it pence per wear absolutely I think that is that's, that's the way to look at it really isn't it I think that's definitely the way to go um I love this it is absolutely beautiful it's called Summer Dress Dreams in Flare, and I think it's gorgeous. And it goes really nicely with our red rib. So if you wanted to make it into um, a Julia or a Regan or anything like that, then um, you've got the rib there to go for the uh, cuffs and the neck band. But oh, this is going to just be amazing, the new pattern. I'm, uh, yeah, I can't tell you how excited I am about this new pattern. I'm not gonna tell you anything about it because it's coming out on the 1st of May. So there we go. And pattern testers, we will be in touch very soon. So uh, we haven't forgotten about you. It's just that we have been so frantic trying to get new stuff out. Um, and we're working on loads of new things at the moment. We're going to um, be doing some really interesting things with the sewing studio. Um, because come May, the sewing studio will be a year old as well. Um, and we've got our ninth birthday in May too. So we'll have been going as a business for nine years. Where did that go? It's unbelievable. Um, so I love this. Anyway, let's just wind this one back up. So a perfect dress, skirt, top would look amazing in this. And I love it with our mustard cable knit rib, um, cable knit um, sweatshirting, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, uh, Emma, yes, you are still. On, all the people that have patent tested before are still on our list and we will be in touch with you very soon. It is just that we've been stoked out trying to just ramp out stuff that we haven't had time to get other patent testers involved. We've just been using the ones that we that we have locally here. Um, so we will be in touch. Don't worry. We haven't forgotten about you. Um, oh, lovely. Is viscose rayon breathable, Mel? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Viscose is made from reconstituted plant fibres, cellulose basically. Um, so although it's a man-made fabric, it is kind of natural. So it is breathable. So it's not made from um, plastics or oil or anything like that, like um, polyester or nylon or anything like that. So it is still a breathable fabric. So um, yeah, if you're, if you're a little bit like me, who likes to wear natural fibres, because I am at that particular stage in life, then viscose is perfect. Actually, it's nice and cool and wafty as well, which is brilliant for summer dresses. Um, so that's a good choice to make for the summer. Um, oh, Helen, how do you become a pattern tester? Just send us an email. Send us an email and we can send you out a questionnaire that we ask all of our pattern testers to fill in. Um, and then 
if you can do the things that we need you to do within the time frame that we need you to do them, then that's cool. Um, so there we go. Uh, so just email us if you want to, um, and then we can send you all the information. So now we're going to get inundated, aren't we? <laughs> Which would be good. Actually, good. It'd be lovely. Um, so I wanted to start off with these three fabrics this morning because they're bright and I absolutely love them. Uh, oh, Pam says you love your Hippol Hippolyta. Oh, in the Marabou. Oh, nice. Lovely. Um, just in time for your 60th. Perfect. Jan says you're thinking of the Perdita in a red wool or the navy russet check. Oh, nice. But worried about pattern matching. If you are worried about pattern matching, use the notches on the pattern itself and that will help you line up all the checks. So on the side seams, you've got notches. Just make sure that your fronts and backs are, the notches are on the same place on the check and you should be absolutely fine. I would also cut it on a single layer. It does take a little bit longer and you will have to mirror and flip over your pattern pieces, but you will make sure that you get it absolutely bang on then and everything will line up beautifully. Because if you are gonna be using one of these checks, it is gonna be noticeable. So it is worth taking that little bit of extra time and care, just making sure that you're gonna get it right. But they will look amazing, they really will. Uh, Donna says, yes, you will get loads. <laughs> uh, Anne-Marie, oh, you're just back from a walk along the River Hamble. Oh, lovely. Hamble. Now, I'm showing my age now. Who remembers Hamble from play school? Now, that's a little bit of a blast for the past, isn't it, really? Um, who was there? There was Hamble, Jemima, Big Ted, Little Ted and Humpty. There we go. That, that is really stretching my brain cells now. Right. Enough of play school. Let's move this and we can start looking at the other fabrics. So let's shove this up at the back. So we've got a bit more space. Now, actually, oh, that goes quite nicely with the little butterflies there, too. Let's see if people can remember. Uh, lovely. Yes, thank you for the tips on the pattern matching. Well, morning, Laurie. How are you? Hope you're well. Um, I love this. Now, I kind of quite fancy a bit of an outfit going on here. Um, I have... Sharon and I were talking this morning earlier on. If only we'd started kind of getting fit... At the beginning of lockdown last year you know we'd both be a size 10 now or well, i would anyway if i'd been kind of like hard at it all year um but actually what i want to do now i've just started training again <sighs> i went last night for my first session and it was oh yeah i can still walk up and down stairs though so that's okay but i'm feeling like i need andy pandy and luby lou donna that's another blast from the past isn't it Play school, I know. Oh, I loved it. Look, it's with Roundwood. Oh, I've started something now. There we go. <laughs> now, all sorts of same related finally brought some white pumps from White Stuff. So might even wear dresses and skirts. Oh, I like your thinking there, Mel. Uh, Joe, oh, you went to school in Hamble. I know that's near. Oh, gosh, where is it? It's down. Where is Hamble? My geography is appalling. It's Southampton way, isn't it? West country? I don't know. Maybe I've got that completely wrong. Anybody who lives in Hamble will probably tell me now. Um, let's have a quick, oh, more comments. That's good. Ragtag and bobtail. Oh, oh, it's all coming out now, isn't it? Anyway, I think this would look amazing as a pair of leggings, but I would put it with a lovely sweatshirt in this one and I think this would be perfect because we have got the rib that goes with it so this is our kind of peachy melange sweatshirting it's beautifully soft on the inside but actually I think those would look really nice a pair of leggings and a big Julia sweatshirt or a Paulina over the top just to do your kind of like bit of yoga or Pilates or something like that and I think it would be ideal um, oh we've got more Spotted dog. Oh, yeah. Big Ted and Little Ted. Muffin the Mule. Now, Muffin the Mule was a little bit before my time, I have to say. Southampton, Hampshire. Yes, Amory, I thought it was around there. Thank you. Geography was never my strong point at school, I have to admit. Um, Bill and Ben. Oh, yeah. And then they remade Bill and Ben, didn't they? About, oh gosh, when was it? About 20 years ago, because I remember watching it with my kids when they were little. Yes, this is the uh, sweatshirt. Brilliant. Sharon's popped that up. Oh, the wooden tops. Okay. 
Oh dear, we're going down memory lane now, aren't we? Um, but I love, I love these. I think these are really, really gorgeous together. So I'm quite fancying these actually. Um, and they would go perfectly with my trainers too, which is rather nice. So I think I might have a little project at the weekend. Um, Lots of people joining us on Instagram today. We've got someone from Italy. Oh, wow. Wales and Australia. Oh, fantastic. Thank you for joining us this morning. That's brilliant, actually. Yeah, I just went quiet there because I can't read and speak at the same time. So um, lots of people are coming up with the uh, kids' programmes that they remember, which I think is fantastic. The little house knows something about it too. <laughs> oh, that's fab. Now... I think those are gorgeous together. I'm going to move this one out of the way. So we've got a bit more space. There we are. And I need to be a little bit quicker this morning because um, don't forget there is a minute silence at midday today. So we're going to finish a little bit early just so that we can get ready. Um, and anybody who wants to take part in that, you can. So we won't be overrunning. Um, but I love that butterfly fabric. I think that's gorgeous. And this peach actually goes really nicely with the lovely viscous rayon here. Now this one is called Floral River. We've got a little bit of this left, but we can get more. And I think this rib goes perfectly with it. So if you wanted to, you could create, again, a, um, a Paulina or a Julia or a Regan and actually use the ribbing um, that picks out that lovely kind of peachy pink in there, which I think is gorgeous. Really nice combination, that one. I love that. Cool. Let's move that one out of the way just for a sec. Um, now, I'm going to pop this one. Again, I think this would be fantastic as a pair of leggings, actually, with a big, nice sweatshirt over the top of it. This is lovely. Um, now, I can't remember the name of it. Sharon will probably pop it up as a, as a link in a sec. Normally, they have the names printed down the sides. What is it? Oh, Everlasting Blooms in Berry. There we go. So that's rather lovely. Uh, oh. oh, Diane says she's still got your Muffin the Mule toy. Oh, wow. That's, oh, that's very cute. That's very cute. Um, I like this. I think this is a really nice one. I'm kind of quite fit. Peach isn't really a colour that I would normally go for, but actually I'm really liking all of these different colour combinations. Um, and it works really nice with grey, obviously, because grey is like, that's a staple, isn't it, really? So I think having, you could even just have a pair of um, grey leggings actually, which would work really nicely with this kind of lovely sweatshirt fabric in that kind of peachy melange. I think that's a really nice, um, nice word, that word melange. It's my word of the day, perhaps. Um, oh, the clangers. Oh, I know. Actually, we know a guy who writes well, has written some of the episodes for the Clangers. And it was a really interesting fact that you came up with, didn't you, the other day, that actually, you know, the Clangers make all the noises, but actually there is a script. So a script is written in English for the Clangers, and then the people who do the noises have to read the script and make the noises to match the script. How bizarre is that? How bizarre is that? I love it. I think it's great, though. Um, uh, oh, um, Anthea, yes, I know early days, for we have, we are starting to put up dates. Now, if you've already booked any of the workshops, you will have been contacted about new dates. So please check your emails because we're just waiting to hear back from people to confirm that they can make those new dates. Or if they can't, let us know when you can come. Um, and then we're starting to put up some of the workshops again. I'm being very tentative about this, I will be honest, because I'm not completely convinced that everything is going to be back to normal when it's supposed to be, shall we say. So we will be sucking and seeing kind of when things are going to happen. Um, but do please check your emails, check your spam folders and get back to us um, if you've already booked on a workshop that's been postponed and we can make sure that we get you booked back in again, which would be fantastic. Um, and so once we know how many people can come back onto the original workshops, we can then advertise the spaces that we have left. Um, so Anthea that hopefully answers your question so we will be having more workshops coming up um, and we will be putting them into the um, emails that go out on a Friday as well we'll probably be posting it up on social media too so it should be fairly clear um, 
Oh, Linda says, not about knit fabrics, can I ask about Porsche? Uh, I've got a brilliant fit around the waist and the bum. For a change, I would like to narrow the leg. Something similar to the hero trouser. You can do that, yeah. As long as you kind of keep the balance on the leg width, then you should be fine to do that because houses, ba trousers basically hang from the waist. So as long as you've got the fit right over the waist and the hips, then you can do what you like with the legs. So that should that should be working for you quite nicely, actually. Um, so that's good. Oh, brilliant. Sharon's popped up a reply to Anthea there. So that's good. Are the diplomas for the diploma are, look at that, ready? Uh, yes, Rachel, they are. I'm going to be emailing everybody next week. We're just confirming. So we've accepted people onto the course, which has been fantastic. And I'm really pleased that we've had so many of you interested, which is wonderful. Um, and we will be sending out more information next week about dates, how it's going to work, what kind of equipment you're going to need. Um, for people who are wanting to join us purely online, then we've got a list of tech that you are um, that might be worth having or worth investing in. None of it's hugely expensive, um, but it just means to, that you'll be able to see things a bit clearer and I can see you a bit clearer as well. So all of that will be coming out to you next week, which is really exciting. Uh, morning, Mia. Hello, how are you? Uh, nice that you can join us today. Um, yes, as I said, Linda, everything will be coming out to you next week. We're just confirming how and when and what we're going to be doing. So, yeah, we're trying to stagger information so it's not just bombarding everybody with everything all at one go. So, um, but the first weekend, the first Friday and Saturday of the month will be the talk sessions for the diploma. Um, everything's going to be recorded. So if you can't make a session, um, you will be able to catch up afterwards. So you're not going to miss anything. So you'll be absolutely fine with that because I know we've had a couple of questions about that already. So that's good. Um, Brilliant. Lovely. Cool. More fabrics. That's what we need to get through today. Now, to go with the lovely grey, we have got the grey cable knit. Now, I love this. We've got this in lots of different colours, actually. And it is such a brilliant fabric because not only does it work for um, the Julia top or the Paulina, it actually works really nicely for um, the Quince cardigan as well. So this is from the Mechanicals range of patterns. Um, and you may have seen Diane's amazing wardrobe photos that she's done, which I think look absolutely stunning. So if you go into our um, Sew Me Something Friends Facebook group, uh, Diane has just, she has been playing around with her lovely Sew Me Something wardrobe. Um, and she's actually chopped the sleeves off and turned it into more of a, a like a gilet kind of shape which is another great thing to do with the pattern um, so it's more kind of like long waistcoaty kind of shape which i think is a fabulous idea um, and it's brilliant when you see other people's makes so if you have taken any photos or if you're in, been inspired by diane to kind of raid your wardrobe and come up with some outfit ideas we would love to see them we really would um, i love a bit of show and tell and it really makes my day when i see what people have done with our patterns because it's all about making the clothes that you want to wear as an individual. That's what it's all about. That's what we're here for, really, is to help you facilitate making your own clothes. Because you feel fantastic when you wear things that other people admire. And um, I think it just gives you such a boost. And we could all do with one of those at the moment, couldn't we? Because it has been a very long and hard year for a lot of people. So and any small kind of things that we can do to liven up your day is what we're all about, really. Uh, brilliant. Sharon's popped up the link to the Quince cardigan there, which is fantastic. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can get onto some more fabrics. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to leave that one and that one. I'm going to move this one out of the way because we've got a beautiful stripe now. Oops, there we are. This is lovely. It's a gorgeous fabric. It's a bamboo viscose jersey and it's really nice and soft. It's a bit, it's quite stretchy. So you wouldn't want to do um, anything too kind of uh, drapey with it. But actually, I think this is lovely. So this would work beautifully for um, a Julia, a Regan, Paulina. Um, again, you could do the Quince cardigan in this, actually, and it would look really nice. Um, I think it's a lovely one. Oh, we've got some more comments come through. Um, 
Oh, Tina says, I put a photo in this morning of your Perdita. Oh, lovely. That's brilliant. I love seeing what people have done. And I think this works really nicely. Again, you can kind of mix and match things too, so that you've got like a, a you know, a pattern or a plain uh, contrasting colours, I think work really, really well. I quite like this with the rib actually, which is quite nice. So you can kind of put whole outfits together, just picking out different colours and putting them together, which I think is great. So that's the kind of greys and peaches. Now we can move on to something else. Let's move this out of the way. I'm running out of space now. There we go. Let's pop those up there. I should get enough exercise just moving the fabrics around really. Maybe that's what we should do. We should be doing squats with rolls of fabric or something like that. <laughs> fabric aerobics, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, let's move those down. Now, these are the kind of blue kind of fabrics. Um, oh, let's have a quick look and see. Oh, lovely. Oh, Teresa. Um, we will be, yes, hopefully, we will be running the diploma again, actually. We've started it kind of halfway through the year, just because that's the only time we could, really. Um, but we'll see how it works, and then hopefully... Uh, with a bit of luck and a following wind, we'll be able to have another kind of intake um, January next year, which will be really good. Because um, we want as many people as we can to take part in this, because it's going to be really, I'm so excited about doing it. It's a really good thing. Actually, it's going to be a bit like going back to my old life as a fashion lecturer, but in a really nice kind of way. So I like these ones. These are more cable knits. And I love this. I've actually got leggings myself in this, actually, which is um, which I do wear for yoga and stuff like that when I can be bothered. Um, but I love this and it's beautiful. It's just a very, almost like a, an illustrative feather drawing. I love feathers, actually. Um, it's a bit random, but um, there we go. Oh, yes, fabric aerobics. Yeah, I think that's great. I think that's going to work really nicely. So actually leggings and a nice big Julia in the um, cable knit would be ideal. And I love this. This is our linen knit fabric, which is beautiful. It's the slubby kind of fabric and it's gorgeous. Now we've used it here for, we've got the gray in the Julia, which is really nice. It's just a big, lovely slouchy kind of top. Um, and it looks amazing just over a vest. Now, I quite like them with the extra wide neckline because it almost like drops off one shoulder, which I think is really lovely. Um, so those kind of a nice little vest top. Now, we have got um, white, plain white um, jersey in, which is really nice. And I'm looking at getting more of the slubby jersey back in again as well. But those are really nice. And we've also used it for the peas blossom as well. Now, we've done a little pocket on the peas there, which is a really nice simple little t-shirt boxy t-shirt kind of shape um, and the tutorial for how to put the pocket on is in the sewing studio so that's quite a nice one to have a little look at um, oh, there we go let's just pop those on there if there's anything that you want to see in the sewing studio specifically apart from trouser fitting because i know people are going to say that um, let me know because uh, we're always looking for ideas and uh, let me just say, trouser fitting is coming. It is coming. So if you've got any other ideas, then that would be amazing. Um, now to go with these blues, I love this, our lovely windmill fabric. This is really cute, actually. Now it's a modal, so it's similar to viscose, um, um, but it feels really lovely and soft. It has a slight kind of loop back texture to it, which is lovely. Um, I won't mention jeans again, <laughs> says Linda. <laughs> no, it's coming, don't worry. Oh, have we got any more comments in there? Cover stitch, I know, Helen. Yes, apart from cover stitch and jeans and trousers, is there anything else? So it's like, what have the Romans ever done for us, really, isn't it? Apart from sanitation, education, yeah. Uh, Let's have a quick look. Anybody else? No, that's fine. Cool. 
Uh, oh, what pattern is the flowery trousers you have hanging up? Ah, Mel, these are the snout yoga pants from the Mechanicals collection. Um, and I know they're absolutely gorgeous. They're really, really comfy. I have got a pair of these at home and they are my not so secret pajamas. They're lovely. So you can get the mechanicals. Don't forget, when you get the mechanicals, you can have, you get all of them together, but you can order individual patterns to get printed through the PDF service. So that's good. Uh, would luxury crate be okay for Helena, says Donna? Yes, absolutely. That would work really nicely, actually. Um, and it would give you a lovely kind of, more of a, more of a slightly more formal one maybe, but I think it would look really nice actually. It's a nice weight for it. Uh, Christian says, oh, adjusting for big waist and smaller hips on skirts. Actually, we're gonna be doing a pattern cutting series in the sewing studio starting uh, next month. So each month we're gonna be focusing on something specific. So actually, hopefully that kind of question will get addressed there, which would be brilliant. Um, so back to the fabrics. I rather like this one. It goes really nicely with the raspberry cable knit. It just picks out that lovely pink in there, which I think is really pretty. And I like that one too. Now this goes, this lovely raspberry one, goes beautifully with the viscose rayon here. I really like that. This is Painted Field in Cerise, which is lovely. So it's got lots of little flowers which is really cute actually it goes with oh, look at that i like that with the um the blue cable knit but it also goes really nicely with the raspberry one there which i think is really pretty and we've got the blue ah oh, there it is that's why i kept this here this pale blue rib looks really nice with it as well actually you could probably get away with the peachy color on it too again all these colors just look really nice together and you can kind of mix and match different things, can't you? Oops, I'm just looking at fabric sliding off the table. Uh, and I think that works really, really well. It's lovely when you've got things that you can pull things out of. You know, sometimes you do buy things on impulse, I know I do, or make them, um, and it just stands on its own. And you can only ever wear it with a certain pair of shoes or a certain top or something like that. And I think you get far more wear out of things if you can kind of mix and match them. What do you think? Do you prefer? to kind of mix and match things and have things that you know are gonna to go together? Or do you quite like having specific outfits for specific things? It's quite interesting, actually. That would be a lovely question to have answered. Um, oh, taking patterns. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, how to, it's, it's a little bit of a tricky one, taking a pattern off of an old garment because quite often the old garment will be slightly warped out of shape. Um, it's possible to do with simpler things, um, but I tend to find that actually it's quicker and easier in the long run to have a decent block that you know works and fits you and then take the style and the design details from your old garment and incorporate it into a new pattern. Um, I kind of... I kind of bulk a little bit at the kind of budget and leg it kind of thing because I'm very process driven when it comes to making garments and I'd rather make sure that the pattern works because that way you know it's going to you're going to be able to make it up again rather than kind of make it and bodge it and it kind of works but you've got to fudge it a bit. I, I really like a pattern that works because it's so much less hassle when you come to make something up. So yes you can do it and it depends on what it is but there's a big but there. It depends on what it is. So yeah, Lynn, I totally agree with you. And I've taken patterns off of things that I've loved before, but it needs to be, um, you can only really do it with really simple things, if you see what I mean. So things that have got pleats and tucks and darts and stuff like that start to get a little bit more complicated. And it's much easier to start with a blank pattern, new pattern, and just incorporate those design details in there. Um, oh, we've got more comments, loads more comments coming through. Oh, you like, people like mix and match. Perfect. Oh, Emma says, I'm dreadful at mixing and matching. I do tend to plan my makes, but you do plan your makes well. That's cool. Mix and match. People are doing mix and match. Raspberry goes well with my, I know it does go nicely with my dress, doesn't it? Mm. I spotted that earlier on, actually. Yeah. Um, pattern making, creating a basic block. Yes, we are going to be covering that, actually. 
Um, the capsule wardrobe is great and good value per wear. Yes, good, lovely, brilliant. Oh, loads of comments, comments coming through. Perfect. So quite like this little colour range. Now we've also got this one. Now we haven't seen one of these for a while, actually. These are the quilted jerseys. Now, but I love this because it has got the stripe on the back which I think is fabulous. We've got a couple of these left, actually. We've got a little bit of a turquoise one at the end there. Um, let's move these out of the way. So we've got a bit more space. And we can have a look at these. So these are the kind of like purpley, heathery kinds of colours. But actually, I think these are really nice. So if you didn't want, if you wanted something that was a little bit lighter to go around the neckband and the cuffs, we've got the um, the kind of uh, heather purple, I can't, pale pink. Oh, no, that's a pale pink quilted, quilted jersey. Now, Sharon will put the link up in a sec. Uh, oh, Linda says, I always used to make my patterns, but your blocks have shrunk. How do they do that? It's almost like they go into the cupboard and they just decrease in size by themselves, isn't it? Outrageous behaviour. Um, Mary says, a mix and match as long as it goes with denim. Do you know, Mary, I'm actually totally with you there. Yeah, I live in jeans, as you probably can tell. Um, they are brilliant. Cool, that's good. Uh, oh, yes, there we go. Sharon's popped it up. Oh, Patricia says, could you use the quilted jersey for the quince cardigan? Absolutely. That would work really nicely. And you could have, um, you could use the stripe, just having a little kind of stripe on the uh, band that goes around the front and the neckline, actually, which would be a really nice little feature. That would be lovely. Pale plum, that's what it's called. Pale plum rib actually works really nicely with the, um, the quilted jersey that we've got here. Now, another, this actually works really well too with the Wild Botanics linen. Actually, it's linen viscose this way, isn't it? Yeah. But actually, that works really nicely together there too. It just picks out this lovely kind of pinky colour. Although, to be honest, you've got so many colours in here that would work brilliantly. This would just be absolute heaven in a cake dress or something like that that's nice and simple. Um, and it would just hang so beautifully. Because it's a linen viscose, it just has that lovely kind of soft, wobbly kind of drape to it, which is really lovely, which I think is gorgeous. So the rib, the light plum, goes with the sweatshirting, which again is a really nice one. Actually, do you know what? This would, these wild botanicals would make up brilliantly as a pair of um, palazzo pants for the summer, actually, which would be really cool. And then you could have like a little, uh, like a little Regan sweatshirt to go over the top, which would be lovely too. I think those would work really well. Um, oh, Christian says, your favourite dress fabric with lots of heart emojis. I love an emoji myself, actually. This is beautiful. It's really lovely fabric. Um, it is gorgeous and I know that we're going to get through this. I've got a feeling that half of this roll has gone already, but um, we will be getting more. So that's good. Um, oh, Gillian says you're wearing the quilted jersey this morning. Oh, in the grey and yellow as a Julia top. Oh, lovely. That's nice, actually. We've got, in fact, we've got one of our old samples in that grey and yellow, which is really nice. Maybe we need to get some more back in again. Um, if you want to see some more of the quilted jerseys, let me know and we'll see what we can do. We do, yes. We are starting to go through our kind of old repertoire. Um, Kate was actually one of the first patterns that we did, uh, gosh, nearly eight years ago now. Um, and there are so many different variations. We kind of struggle to think about which ones we would include actually, but it is a nice one to do. So we will be doing that as um, an online course. Yes, it is on our list. Uh, we have got the cake dress workshop. Yes, that's coming up, actually. I don't know whether Sharon's popped it up live yet. She oh, she has. Oh, fantastic. Um, actually, Sharon, if you can stick the link up then for the cake dress workshop. So if you're able to come and join us, that would be amazing um, because you do get to do the whole dress in a day, which is fantastic. Um, that's lovely. Now, I wanted to include this one again because I absolutely love it. 
and it goes brilliantly with this sweatshirting fabric too. I'm going to move that over there, which is the rainbows. Now, we need more rainbows in our lives, don't we really? Um, and I think it's such a gorgeous fabric. You've just got to have a little t-shirt or even a pair of, um, what about a pair of snug, a snout yoga pants, actually? I think that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? You could have little rainbow trousers, which I think would be fabulous. I really do. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Sharon's popped the link up there. Thank you. I always forget there's a bit of a delay. So that's good. I love this. This would be, and um, it would just make such a fantastic base layer. So you could have, um, you could have it in the snug t-shirt, which is just our lovely, simple bog standard t-shirt, which is great as a kind of a basic base layer, and then layer it underneath all kinds of different things, actually. We've got, this works beautifully with, um, now we have got, I have got it here, but we have got some of the black jumbo cord, which would make up in a beautifully into a perdita. So you could have a lovely little rainbow t-shirt with your black perdita corduroy dress over the top, which would look amazing. Um, it would work really nicely underneath um, the um, Arctic dusk linen actually would work really nicely with this too, which is so lovely. Um, and it just, we've got the black there. If you just wanted to team it with a pair of black leggings, that's it. Who has enough pairs of black leggings? I don't certainly, and I'm sure loads of other people don't either. Oh, should be back this time, uh, oh. Hopefully we might be back. Are we there? Should be. Should be there. Okay. Hopefully we're back. Okay. Sound has gone. Oh, no. Oh dear. Uh, there is a delay. Obviously. Yes. So, um... Okay, it's back. Good. Good, good, good. Sorry, we just ran out of batteries there on the microphone receiver. <sighs> Honestly, just can't get the staff these days, can what? you really? <laughs> I know, I shouldn't moan. It's No, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. Oh, Dee says, you've joined the studio after finding your Technique Tuesday and getting hooked on your pattern cutting tips. Fantastic. Thank you, Dee. I'm hoping you're enjoying the studio. So that's really good. A um, couple of other fabrics that I want to show you today. Now these are kind of, now I love these two. Aren't they just, I just think they are so, such happy fabrics, aren't they? I love this pattern. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This would make up fantastically in a Cordelia dress, which I haven't, I actually forgot to grab the samples of. Um, but that's the lovely dress that does the crossover at the front. So it has that twist, which sits just underneath the bust and covers everything else which is a really lovely shape and it suits loads of different shapes and sizes. It's a lovely dress, it really is. Um, and I think it would work beautifully in this fabric, but I love this to kind of go with it. So you could, again, you could have um, kind of like an aqua, uh, not an aqua, a peachy apricot t-shirt underneath your dress or even have um, a kind of a peachy t-shirt vest to go with some yoga trousers, yoga pants that would make up in the in the pattern, which I think is lovely. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, we've got loads of, loads of, oh, there we go, back again. That's good. Oh, fantastic. Sharon's popped up the link to the pattern there. That's brilliant. 
that's cool <coughs> excuse me oh dear <coughs> so we've got those and the last ones i want to show you are just these gorgeous kind of aqua fabrics now this is the last little bit of the aqua um, turquoise quilted jersey that we've got but it does go beautifully with the melange sweatshirt fabric how many times can i get that word in today melange it's rather a nice word i like that uh lovely oh jan says which is the best weight for the cordelia i would go for a t-shirt fabric so any of our printed agf knits just a normal kind of t-shirt weight a single jersey is absolutely ideal for cordelia you don't want anything that's going to be too stretchy because that's going to the weight of the fabric on the twist is going to kind of pull everything down so this fabric is absolutely ideal for it so it's just our single jersey um, any of the prints that we've got would be lovely as well that would work really nicely too i know those colors are gorgeous aren't they donna yeah uh right so we've got this is lovely and i can't remember what it's called now sharon and pop the link oh here we are it is oh layla star which is a lovely one this is a beautiful viscose jersey that goes fantastically with the um, light kind of teal rib just picks out that gorgeous color in there as well which is really nice um, and that goes beautifully with the light teal sweatshirt fabric as well which is it's so soft it's absolutely gorgeous it really is and we've got the windmill modal here which is the same as the peachy colored one that i showed you earlier these are absolutely beautiful and this goes beautifully with the windmill fabric so if you don't have to have the same fabric on the neckband and the cuffs if you want a little bit of a contrast that's going to work beautifully for you too so i'm rushing a little bit because i'm conscious of time um, we have got the free pmp code which is available until midnight tomorrow so don't forget to use that um, and i hope you have been inspired there by some of the fabrics that we've got for you we're going to finish a little bit early today because of the um, minute silence at midday today so hopefully you can go out and enjoy the very spring-like weather that we're having at the moment and uh, enjoy your sewing this weekend too and we will be back next week uh, next Tuesday with a big announcement about a new competition that we're going to be running for over the Easter week so make sure you pop a reminder in your phone or in your diary to come and join us next week because we'll be doing a big announcement for a lovely competition which you're going to really like um, so hopefully oh Dillith has done that with the orange rib I know that's nice it's gorgeous that fabric isn't it I saw that on Facebook and it looked amazing um, have a fantastic weekend, everybody, and uh, we will be back with you next week. <laughs>